Hello everybody, this is Hector with InYourPools.com and today we're actually going to be pulling a motor on a Pureline Prime pool pump. Uh, this is a series that uh, we used to sell a little while back, I don't know, maybe two years or so. Um, and they're still out in the field in some cases, so uh, I wanted to be able to show you how to pull a motor and essentially change this motor out for this particular series. It's very, very similar to the Hayward Super Pump. Uh, but it does have some slight differences. Uh, in any regard, you're going to need a, a, a nut driver. <clears throat> you're going to need your socket wrench. This is a 17 millim millimeter. Uh, some pliers, you don't know those, for uh, pulling some of the wiring um, once it's uh, been disconnected. And, you know, you always want to make sure, this is a side note, make sure your breaker's off whenever working with any kind of electrical on these this pool equipment. So we'll go ahead and get this uh, motor pulled. We'll start by removing the four bolts that uh, essentially uh, mount up the motor mounting plate up to the housing and uh, a little tough to see it's a bit of confined space but in the back of the motor is a cap it's got two screws on there that you would use a nut driver for to be able to remove that and get access to the wiring and we'll go ahead and get started lines here I really don't care about these screws because the new motor will have their own you got your ground here green screw pretty sure this motor is set for two 220 to slash 240 based on this positioning sticker is worn off however you can always tell by checking out your timer and your breaker a uh, dual breaker running the power to the pump is 220 240 single breaker uh, 110 slash 120 also by the model of the timer you can typically tell Pretty much it motors pulled wiring disconnected we'll take this motor and we'll uh, move on to the next section where we are disassembling the motor from the plate and reassemble the new motor impeller and such and we'll go from there so now we have the uh, pure line prime motor here on the workbench we're going to go ahead and disassemble the motor from the seal plate mounting plate remove the impeller uh, then go ahead and reassemble the new motor to the same parts. Um, the uh, shaft here in the center of the motor, I'm gonna try to give you a better look here. You're gonna hold that steady in order to unthread the impeller. Let's kind of place it to be able to hold that shaft steady while unthreading the impeller. In a perfect world, just unthread in this case it did sometimes they can be a little bit more stubborn we have more content on the website as well to be able to look at some other tricks to be able to remove a stubborn impeller this one came came loose pretty easily you can see the old second half of the shaft seal here we want to get this removed I'm going to put a brand new shaft seal on there <clears throat> kind of check that out look for any cracks damage to the impeller this one looks like it's in pretty good condition put that aside this is your seal plate. It should come off pretty smooth. You can see the first half of the shaft seal in the actual seal plate. I'm going to pop that out from the back side. You can use a screwdriver. And it usually pops out pretty smooth. Sometimes you got to put a little 
pressure on there. Yeah, nice and smooth. Pops out. Sometimes a little rubber portion of it is in there. Just gotta pry that out. Some pliers. Just want to be careful not to damage. Nice and easy. Probably clean that surface up. Get smooth. Nice and easy. Put that aside. Next comes the mounting plate. Sometimes these washers get stuck on there. This should pop right off. Clean the surface up as well. The less dirt and debris in the uh, area helps the uh, new shaft seal to stay clean and better seal. And we're done with this motor. This one is done for. Now we're gonna get the new motor ready. Always double check, read the label, make sure it does match what you're replacing. This one does. It's a one and a half horsepower um, uprated motor. Make sure it has this same voltage capability. Um, again, you can always cross reference these motors by the motor model number. <clears throat> a few places on our website as well to help show you how to walk through making sure you get the correct motor. First things first, get the seal plate, or excuse me, the mounting plate on there. For this particular model on the Pureline Prime, there's a slit here on the bottom of the mounting plate. This is for drainage to uh, whether the shaft seal ever fails and water gets inside here, it helps to drain it out of the actual uh, mounting plate area so there's no water sitting up against the face that could cause the motor to fail prematurely. Nice hand snug, it doesn't have to be crazy, just good and snug. Now what we do is we prepare the seal plate to get the new shaft seal set up. We do have a particular shaft seal for the Pure Line Prime. If they are out for whatever reason on the website, you can also use the uh, PS201, sold on the website as well, again for the Pure Line Prime. You want to avoid at all costs touching the white ceramic, being that that portion of this seal is what needs to stay clean, dry, not dirty, in order to create the seal when the other half of the seal, spring-loaded half, is compressed against it. I'm just going to place it nice and smooth into the groove. Okay. In the box, there is a small instructions paper. Go ahead and roll out roll out the second half of the seal as you can see the shiny part there on the top here is what's going to compress to the other half of the seal we'll put that aside i usually take the paper it's folded in here open it up this area right here has not been touched it's not wet it's not dirty and i'll use that to pop the seal into the seal plate Nice and smooth. Put that, put that aside for the moment. I want to prep the impeller. Nice and easy. Not touched, not wet, not dirty. So now they're prepped. We're going to pop the cap off of the back of the motor to get that ready as well here momentarily. Usually it makes it a little easier when holding steady the, the back of the shaft, similar to the other style motor. In this case, the back of the shaft is behind this switch. Um, it's squared off, so you can use a wrench. And when attempting to thread the new impeller on, here, when we're threading that on, we have to hold the shaft steady again. The wrench will kind of butt up against this rod here, the shaft, so it won't allow it to spin. Again, the shaft won't spin, allowing you to thread that impeller on there, creating that seal. Uh, usually removing this capacitor helps create some space to set up that wrench. Just one screw, push it aside. Shaft not moving whatsoever. So it's, it's butting up against the screw. 
you can see. Seal plate going on first, nice and easy. Seal plate, wrench is set up, nice and steady, so the shaft does not move, does not spin. Thread the impeller on, nice and easy. Not touching either the ceramic side, the white or the black shiny side. Just wanna make sure, oh yeah, it's pretty snug, we're good. You don't have to go crazy with tightening these impellers on there. But yeah, so 7 sixteenths. Oh yeah, we're good. Let me get this capacitor back on. So as you can see, motor's prepped. Okay, so we are now back on site with the uh, Pureline Prime motor replacement. Um, as you can see, we've got the housing here. There's a uh, essentially a seal plate gasket that we uh, cleaned up using some water. Also wiped down the surface to help create a better seal. We're gonna go ahead and place the new gasket into the seal plate and uh, lubricate it. It uh, kind of is basically like a T gasket. Um, where there's a there's essentially like a lip that will sit in the groove of the seal plate and also for future re reference just keep in mind if for whatever reason you have a pure line prime pump that you're replacing the seals and the motor and or both uh, and there by chance is no more out of stock essentially out of stock um, seal kit for the prime the first generation prime you can also use the hayward super pump seal kit uh, those will work as well um, so we're going to go ahead and put this uh this seal this gasket in place and then we're going to go ahead and get the um, motor wiring prepped on the new motor before we assemble it back up to the housing we'll go ahead and push push this through the uh, um, uh, fitting here the back of the motor and get those wires set up As you can see, we've got them through. See the wires here. We've got a line one. So we've got line one, line two. Here on these this terminal board, we'll take either one of those leads, the white or the black that I showed you with the insulation. It doesn't matter which terminal it goes on for this for these motors. Two twenty volt. Because again, each each line, each lead is carrying 110, 120. And then your ground will go on this ground screw here. Throw the cap back on. Make sure this uh, fitting for the kind of wood is nice and snug and sealed. And then we can mount it back up to the housing, the entire motor. As you can see, the wires are pretty snug under those terminals. We're going to go ahead and put the cap in the back end of the motor. and get the diffuser on the front end of the pump. This is the diffuser. It'll sit over the impeller here. You can kind of see a groove here where this, this lip of the diffu diffuser will fit on top of, fit through. Just like that. On the uh, front of the diffuser, there's a gasket and I'll take it off here just to show you a better angle. I want to lubricate that as well. You can see it here. Now we can slide this motor uh, mounting plate, seal plate diffuser assembly back up into the pump housing. We're going to do that now. Now we can go ahead and start rebolting it up to the housing. Here's the bonding wire as well. Don't want to forget that. Should be good. Now we'll go ahead and uh, fire this up, get this pump prime, make sure everything's sealed, and we'll be done. So what we're gonna do here, uh, we just got everything fired up, is we're gonna double check to make sure all the seals have sealed properly and there's no water leaking. 
uh, just to kind of show you what to pay attention to. We're going to get closer to the motor to get a little loud, but this way you can kind of see what to double check on when you're replacing a Fairline Prime motor or really any motor in regard to your pool pump. Let's see. So as you can see, we're good to go. Pool is now up and running. Looking good. Yeah, and uh, please feel free to uh, like and subscribe this video. Um, also, you can join our Facebook group, Pool People by In Your Pools, where a lot of the uh, individuals and even technicians, homeowners, pool owners, go on there and share their troubleshooting experiences, uh, help one another. And uh, again, thank you for watching the video. Hope all is well.